today I'm going to provide you with five different ways that you can easily learn new words in French. So the first way is when you're maybe watching a French movie, listening to a podcast, listening to the news, hearing a conversation in French, maybe somebody's talking to you and you hear a new word, well you simply just mentally at that point, if you're not able to possibly write it down, just try to repeat it three times in your mind and create a visual image of what that word can mean to you. And what actually really helps is if you have some kind of funny image in your mind. So let's say you're trying to remember the word for horloge. Horloge, and you're like, horloge, horloge. That's a tough one to say possibly in English for a clock. Well, try to think of an image. So you might know the word or is like gold. So you could say horloge. And so you try to think of something off. Or maybe you're thinking of an image like this one of some funny guy with a clock. And that mental image, while you're thinking about it, and in your mind, you're repeating that word three times. Horloge, horloge, horloge. And that will help you Remember it, horloge. The second way is to create a little index card, just like this one, where you have a word and then you have a synonym of the slang word. Because most French language has a basic word, but then may have a slang or just maybe a diminutive. For instance, like you could say réfrigérateur, réfrigérateur, or you could us we usually just say un frigo. Un Frigo. Or another example of that would be you're talking about your job and you're saying mon travail, mon travail. But you also want to learn other ways that you could say it. So you're not always saying travail. You could say mon boulot, mon boulot, or mon taf, cool. mon taf. And so learn a basic word and then try to learn a couple other ways that you could say the same thing by either writing it on an index card or you can also use Quizlet to create your own index cards or find others that were created. The third way is the way I usually use in class with students at Beltier Academy, where we have this brainstorming word that could be based on a theme. Let's say we're talking about the environment and then it branches out into different words that are related to that specific theme. So you could use it in that way, which is more thematic, or you may want to use it in a different way, which would be having a word like the word I just provided, travail, un travail, and then branching out in other ways that you could say it. And that brainstorming bubble, you could do it mentally if you're unable to take a sheet of paper and, and do it yourself, or you can be able to actually print out the handouts from Belterra Academy's courses and use those to do that brainstorming bubble, so to speak. Before I provide you with the fourth way that you can easily learn new vocabulary in French, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to be notified of our next French lesson you're not gonna wanna subscribe. miss. Another way that you can learn new words and especially words that are really relating to your own life or things going on around you like in your home or in your workforce is by creating little labels and labeling different items. So you could be in the kitchen and have labeled like this is plates. Assiette, fourchette, couteau, verre, etc., etc. So you could have those labels. You could also use those same labels for your bedroom, for instance, pour une, un bonnet, un pull, une écharpe, etc., etc. And in the office as well, trombone, crayon, ciseau, etc. So by using those little labels, you're able to look at those words in places that you tend to go often, work, home, uh, and you're learning them little by little through that labeling process. And finally, the last way is to create different lists of words and then and have kind of one column where there's synonyms and then another column where there's antonyms. So you're looking for a basic word and then finding the opposite of that word and then finding actually another word that is similar or identical. And that's helping you learn opposites, but it's also giving you a more broad vocabulary. You can use a alphabetical notebook such as this one to look up words. For instance, maybe you're simply looking up the word tree, a novel, and you're thinking, well, is there another way to say it? Or is there a way to say it differently? Or you're looking at types of trees, a pommier versus a citronnier. 
Well, having this kind of list on an alphabetical notebook can be very useful in learning new vocabulary and expanding your vocabulary. And I'm gonna provide you with the last tip that's gonna make such a difference for you to actually memorize these. Before I do so, I'd love for you to put this video on, on pause and comment below on what you would like to hear yep. on this channel next. So now you have these five different ways to learn new vocabulary. What you wanna do is right before you go to bed at night, literally as you're falling asleep, or 10 minutes before, you're rereading those lists, you're rereading your alphabetical notebook, or you're simply just thinking about those words that you learned that you repeated and you created your mental image with, you're gonna just take literally five, 10 minutes to review those right before you go to sleep, try to fall asleep on those words. While you do that, your brain will be constantly active and constantly thinking. I've had so many students, both teaching college level French and then teaching Belter Academy classes for working professionals like you, well, I've, they've come back to me and said, wow, it's crazy, that list I was able to memorize without really doing anything. So an easy way to memorize is doing that right before you go to bed. I did this in one 